happy, nothing's going to stop me. I'm making my way, oh, I'm making my way. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're heading on a really fun adventure, a very long travel day to start. I'm heading to Israel for about two weeks. We're gonna go to Israel and Jordan. It's a very long travel day. I've gotta take the train to LA and then fly to Turkey and then another flight to Israel. So let's head to the train station. Okay, three hour train ride later, beautiful ocean views. I made it to uh, LA Union Station. Now I have to get the LAX flyaway bus to LAX, which I hope will be not too long, we'll see. Um, I don't know when the next one's coming, so let's go find out. Just got to LA, I got my boarding pass, filled out my green pass to get into Israel. I have a few hours to kill, so I'm gonna get some food and just hang out. trying to find the lounge. Okay, I've just been hanging out in the reading corner of the lounge here, resting. I closed my eyes and actually out for a little bit. Um, wasn't feeling great, but I think I'm gonna try to get some food. So I'm gonna take you along and show you what they've got. Okay, I'm just gonna take a shower here in the lounge because I've been traveling for like over a day. I'm very dirty and gross. Here's a little tour. So they have two of these. A hair dryer, there's a little gift bag here, a towel, a face towel, slippers, and a loofah. It's actually very nice. There's a little thing to put your stuff, and then shampoo and stuff in there. So, yeah. Okay, the shower was good, but there was no conditioner, and this towel is very small, so there's kind of water everywhere. But very nice to have this amenity, and I'm just gonna put back the same clothes I have on. I have new underwear and socks, but I didn't bring a change of clothes, so it's kind of annoying, but at least I'll be showered for tonight. Since I'm gonna get there at like 5 a.m. and just wanna crash. Okay, just showered. I'm having some hot milk, and I should be able to find out my gate soon, so then I'm gonna head over, um, because the airport is huge. It's like literally 20 minute, 30 minute walk to one side, so, and I need to plan ahead for that. security and about to board my flight to Tel Aviv. So it's 4 a.m. I just landed. I'm gonna go through passport control and then hopefully get my car to the hotel. Good morning, it is our first day here in Tel Aviv. We just got some breakfast early and now we're gonna head to the beach and just have a chill day. We're just here at the beach in Tel Aviv. Gonna take a little Just got some smoothies. What kind did you get, Skylar? 
mango, pineapple, melon. Nice, Eliza. Mine is mango, passion fruit. Yes, mine's like strawberry, pineapple, date. I got stung by a jellyfish. Do you see that? It hurts so bad. Oh my God, stop. Um, we were just swimming in the ocean and now we're sitting here. It's very hot, enjoying the sun. Okay, we just got back to the room. I do have a jellyfish bite, so we're just rinsing that off and hopefully that's okay. We're gonna get a drink in a little bit, but I'm just resting in the AC because it is pretty hot. The UV is 11, so just chilling and then we're gonna head out for dinner. We just had some drinks and snacks at a coffee shop and now we are at my friend's apartment and we're gonna head to dinner soon. Good morning, it is day two here in Tel Aviv. We're heading out on a walking tour this morning of Jaffa, which I'm really excited to see. It's a two hour free walking tour, so that'll be fun. But we're starting with breakfast at Aroma first. Just made it to Aroma. I got a ricotta brioche, a flaming sandwich, and a I got shakshuka, coffee, super cute. We just made it here to the clock tower in Java. This is where our walking tour is starting. We just got back to the apartment, got all dressed, and we're heading to my friend's birthday dinner at a taqueria. Let's go. Okay, we are heading out today, heading to Jerusalem. We're gonna take the train there. It'll take about 30 minutes. We are going to be dressed modestly because we're going to all of the religious sites there, which is really excited. So I'm excited to see all the interesting places and dress more, and it's really food. Okay, we just wrote our letters that we're gonna put in the wall, yes, of our kind of like wishes and desires. So I wrote my letter, we're gonna fold it up and put it in the wall. We just made it on the train. It is about 35 minutes to Jerusalem, it's so nice and comfortable <laughs> and with AC. We just walked about half an hour and we're going to be heading into the old city soon, which is divided into four corridors, the Jewish, the Arab, the Christian, and the Armenian quarter. So we're going to explore each of them and go to some of these sites. Actually, the main gate the Jewish bit. The Jewish bit, okay. We entered the Jewish quarter and made our way to the western wall, walking along the shuks, which reminded me of Morocco. Lots of shopping. We just made it to the western wall. Men have to go to the separate side. So we're heading over here. We have our note in hand. We're gonna head up to the wall. This is a very religious site for Judaism. You're not allowed to turn your back to the wall, so you have to walk away backwards from the wall. People were praying and crying. We just made it to the Church of the Holy Sceptical. This is where Jesus was crucified. It was super packed and busy and crowded in there. We waited in line to go to the tomb. Um, no videos were allowed inside there, but it was a really cool experience to see. There were a lot of people crying um, and just being very emotional. Before taking the train back to Tel Aviv, we stopped for some hummus, pine nut, and bean hummus. We had french fries and some mint lemonade, which tasted great in the heat. We stopped for a quick pastry before hitting the train. Okay, what are we eating? Chocolate rugula from marzipan. Marzipan Hi. Hi. That's really good. It's very chocolatey. We just left the old city and now we are walking around the market. We are back in Tel Aviv for sunset. 
We're just here at the beach. We played a few beach games and we're gonna swim. And the sunset will be soon, so that'll be super pretty. Um, it's a great view. We're here on Gordon Beach. Just stopped for some falafel after our tour. Good morning! It is Friday morning here. Last night was something called White Night here in Tel Aviv once a year. Everything stays open all night long, so it was a huge party on the streets. We ended up going to a club. It was a super fun night, very late night as well. So we're just gonna take it easy today and um, potentially go to the beach, get some dinner, maybe some falafel, and yeah, just hang out. Um, a great day started it with aroma had some breakfast from there so that's always good it's kind of a local um israel coffee shop kind of like starbucks here um so yeah we are gonna get ready and head to the beach we're gonna be heading to the beach and then we have a tour to petra that is starting at 2 a.m so we booked a pod hotel we're gonna be sleeping in the pod hotel for a few hours before we're picked up for the tour but we're gonna go to aroma one last time get some breakfast and just hang out on the beach and have a chill last day we are just chilling on the beach here we rented a beach chair for about three dollars which is so worth it and an umbrella because it is very hot but and Sandy, but it is very nice to have and we're just enjoying a beautiful day. The beach is getting very hot and sandy, so we're heading out. So we are just heading to another hotel that one of my friend's friends is staying at and we're gonna go on the rooftop and soak in some of the bathtubs and look at the view over Tel Aviv. Hi, Sky. Hi. <laughs> So we just finished at the rooftop on the bathtubs and now we're gonna head to our next hotel which is a pod hotel um we are very excited i've never stayed in a pod hotel before so we have a double bed for two people communal showers and a place to store our luggage i'll definitely give you a tour there we just made it to the pod hotel my luggage did not fit in the locker so i had to put it in the luggage room and get all my shower stuff right here and I'm gonna take a shower here the showers look nice not anything special but they look clean which is good they're honestly bigger than the bathroom and yeah we just made it and this is our pod okay these are the pods this is our pod a little tour of the pod here it is pretty small it's a double bed uh, you put your key there. There is a teeny little fan there. This closes, of course, and the door is just open right now. There's someone above us, and there's little steps for them to get out. It is a double bed, pretty small. Um, there's some things here. What is it? Fan, plug, light, and USB. Pretty tiny, though, honestly. Um, thank God we're only here for a few hours, but it will be a tight squeeze, so a little nervous about being claustrophobic. So we'll see how it goes. I'm um, hoping to just rest a little bit. 